I got him. What's up guys, it's Carl here, back with another quick unboxing, and I got my hands on the AirPod Pros a day early. So they officially come out tomorrow. You can grab them from the store. I'll do a very quick unboxing, get them set up with, of course, my phone, maybe compare them against the OGs, because I know you guys want to see what these expensive headphones look like. Let's get to it. And you can see from the box, they look very similar to the OG AirPods. I know there's a ton of memes already of what these guys look like. Designed by Apple in California, AirPod Pros, you've of course got the user manuals, warranty info, and no Apple stickers this time around. Maybe I missed those. That is very sad. AirPod Pros up top, and there's a little pull tab, and underneath, this is where we'll get into next. They have different sizing of silicone tips, so they come preset with the mediums installed. You, of course, have small or large, depending, of course, on your ear size. You've also got the charging cable. It is lightning to USB-C, so we don't actually have a charging brick inside of here. Not too surprised from Apple, just kind of keep that in mind for some of the connectors that you have. And you can see it still has that classic dental floss package. It's a bit longer than the OGs, which I'll quickly grab right now. You can see the size comparison or difference between both. I put my MacBook Pro down to give it some contrast because everything is all white. And I do wish that the AirPod Pros came in, say, a space gray, a black. I know there were some leaks maybe hinting at that. And to set these guys up, you just need to update your iPhone to 13.2. And it should be the same pairing process. And as we can see here, it's the ease of AirPods. Automatically they've connected, or I just need to do that one touch. Connecting AirPods Pro. You know, and as I take these guys out, you can see that the design is similar, but there are definitely a few differences. The stems are in fact shorter, and they do now of course have those rubber silicone tips on the outsides. This black vent here not only shows people that you do have AirPod Pros, you spent $250, because that's how expensive they are, $329 up here in Canada, which is ridiculous for a pair of in-ear earbuds or headphones. It's, whew, they're getting up there in price. But these do also act as vents, because when you have a full seal with a silicone, there is a pressure difference between the inside the outside of your ear, this lets air pass through there, so you don't hear that weird thumping sound when you walk or say talk. Let's put these bad boys in for the first time. And when you go into say settings, Bluetooth, you can see my AirPod Pros are connected. If you click on the little I, now you get to the main menu of the AirPod Pros and you can do an ear tip fit test. And that lets you know if you have the right size ear tips. So if we click on that, hit continue, we'll hit play. So now sound is playing. Do not remove AirPods. So we see that on both, I've got a good seal on the left and the right. So the medium sized tips fit my ears perfectly and it feels comfortable. They're not kind of moving around like my traditional AirPods kind of did. And now I'm playing my first mix on the AirPod Pros. And you know, my key complaint with the OG AirPods, the sound quality wasn't that good. It wasn't justified for the money you were spending. You're paying more for the hands-free experience. And this is where the Pros are definitely different. The bass quality is something that I've noticed off the bat is way better. And of course that active noise canceling. And they do have something called transparency mode. So when I do hold down on one of the buds, there's a little ridge. And when I do hold that down for two seconds, that switches to transparency mode. There are times, say when you're running, you need to hear the ambient sound, you need to hear, say an announcement going on the subway, you can simply hold down on the bottom of the AirPod and that enables transparency mode. And as I press this, I can even hear my own voice coming through. You can also switch transparency mode through control center so you can see here noise canceling on or transparency mode or I can just turn them completely off, your choice. Those pressure sensors are used to actually control the songs that you're listening to as well. So say you wanna pause the song, that's just tap once, double tap to go to the next song, and triple tap to actually go back. So there's all those built-in controls. Of course, you can activate Siri. Hey Siri, remind me to do my AirPod review tomorrow, slash today. And now you'll see a little comparison of the OG AirPods against the new AirPod Pros. You see how much longer the stem is on the OGs. 
still have all of the sensors built in. You still get five hours of music playback, four hours of talk time. Combined with the actual case, you get up to 24 hours and you need to continuously charge these guys. And if you do stick your AirPods in for say five minutes, you'll get an extra hour. The only thing I would say about silicone tips, I haven't been the biggest fan of in my past because it just shows everyone how dirty <laughs> your ears are. You can see in the 30 seconds, I need to clean mine. <laughs> That is not something I'm definitely proud of, but you know, if you do share AirPods with your friends, keep that in mind that the silicone will collect a lot more gunk. Anyways, that is my very first look, unboxing and setup of the new AirPod Pros. Curious what you guys have to say down below in the comments. Are they overpriced at 250 bones? You're getting into the territory of say over the ear noise canceling headphones. Or are these going to be your next cop? They definitely do sound way better than the OG AirPods. If you guys wanna see a full review, let me know down below as well. And hope you guys enjoyed this quick one. I will catch the rest of you in one of my next ones or in one of my vlogs. Peace.